In this video, I'm going to show you how to check your own brakes. That way you can determine if you need new brake pads or not. You can use a penny to determine the minimum thickness of brake pad. To really determine if you need brake pads, you need to take the wheel off. It's important to check both pads. There's a pad on either side of the rotor. And sometimes it's really hard to see the back side of the rotor. Sometimes I'll use my cell phone to take a picture because I can't get my head in there. Sometimes brake pads don't wear evenly. It's usually really easy to see the brake pad in the front of the rotor like this one. And from a quick look, this looks pretty good. I'll explain how you can measure these so you can determine if there's enough brake pad left. On the other side of the rotor is the other pad. Sometimes this one's really hard to see. There's times when I use my cell phone to take a picture of the other side of the rotor just so I can see it. Or you can use a mirror. With working the camera around, I can eventually see the pad in the back. Now this time I can see the brake pads have worn evenly. But that's not always the case. Sometimes the pad in the back is worn down a lot more than the one in the front of the road. You can't always assume that because the one in the front's okay that the one in the back is. Now that we can see the pads are wearing evenly, you wanna know how thick is enough. I'll show you a couple techniques to see if there's enough brake pad left. You need two thirty seconds of an inch left on the if pad. If you don't want to use calipers, you can use a penny. The dimension from the top of the coin to Lincoln's hair, this is two thirty seconds of an inch. If you've got a coin, you've got the dimension. This dimension also works with tire tread. So you want to measure the pad thickness. Now the brake pad that we're looking at right here is about half gone. If the brake pad's half gone, should we replace it? Well, let's take a look at it in perspective. So here's looking at it compared to a brand new brake pad. And here it is compared to that dimension on the penny. So there is some wear left. I scratched a line on this brand new brake pad so you can see the difference. Now you don't want your brake pad getting too thin. Now you could say, while the tire's off, let's go ahead and change the brakes. Or you could keep driving it and wear about half more off of this. Right now it's in the middle of winter. I don't have any real long trips planned, so I'll run these brakes a little longer. If one brake pad was really thin, I'd replace the brakes. Now the rotor itself has pits on it. I'll wait till spring, change the rotors with the pads. Make sure when you put these wheels back on, you want to make sure you torque down the lug nuts to the right torque. Then drive the car and retorque it. Expect especially if the rims are aluminum. As you drive the car, the lug nuts can loosen up. So if you did want to check your brake pads to see if you have enough pad left, now you'll know what to look for. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.